Hey, good morning, family. It's Tuesday, and I'm so excited to be able to share this word with you, something that I believe the Holy Spirit has really been dealing with me about, and so uh, I definitely want to share this with you and let you know that, uh, first of all, I love you. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope this is a start of a great day for you and, and really uh, just continue to have a great life in Jesus. Amen? All right. So uh, I'm going to read this scripture. This is from Philippians chapter 4, and it's verse 8. Um, the whole uh, chapter of Philippians chapter 4 is really good for you to read, so I encourage you to get in there and read that. But for right now, I'm going to read uh, verse 8, and I'm reading this from the New International Version, and um, I just like the way that it reads in, in this version. So it says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, <clears throat> whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And so um, as I was thinking about what I was going to talk to you about today and just asking the Holy Spirit, what would he have me uh, tell you all today? Um, what came to my mind is this, and, and this is not um, pride. This is not um, me trying to get anything from you. This is just me being honest with you and just letting you know. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm living a really good life. I have a great life. I, I thank God every day. I look at my wife and my children. I look at my sisters, my nieces and nephews. I look at my, um, you know, just family and, and I'm just blessed. I, I, I look at everything that's going on in my life and I'm blessed. So, so understand what I'm saying. Um, when I was younger, I didn't think it was important to do things in an excellent manner. I just felt like, um, I had some friends when I was at West Point that we all had this model. If the minimum wasn't good enough, it wouldn't be the minimum. This is stupid thinking. I'm not telling you all to adopt this theory. I'm telling you, to please do not think like this. Um, or, um, you know, to graduate from West Point, you had to have a 2.0. And so, you know, we would say 2.0 and go, right? So this is just stupid thinking. This is stupid. What God wants us to do is he wants us to have a spirit of excellence. He wants us to accomplish things. We were all created for greatness. Let that sink in. We were all created for greatness. Every one of us has the opportunity, has the capability to be excellent in everything that we do. Right? Now, what is it about excellence that is difficult is a uh, four letter word. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to curse it some of y'all. It's work. W-O-R-K. Work. Excellence requires you to make sacrifices, requires you to do things that you don't want to do. So um, I'm encouraging you to be excellent. I'm encouraging you to do the things that are necessary for you to be excellent. The other thing that excellence requires is to overcome another four-letter word, and that's fear. If, if you're going to be excellent, you're going to face challenges that you don't think you can overcome, and it's easy to do nothing. It is easy to do nothing. It's easy to sit back and say, well, it's too hard. I can't do it. Stop it. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's hard, but you can do it. Um, my wife, Kathy, she likes to say all the time that if somebody did it, it can be done, so then I can do it. Right? <laughs> and so um, I'm, I'm not trying to run a sub four minute mile. I'm not trying to, don't want to, don't have a desire to, but it can be done. If I put in the work, I could do it. I'd have to lose probably, you know, 120 pounds or so. Um, so that I could, I could get out there and get it, but, um, but I could do it. It can be done. There's training, there's things you do, there's techniques and skills. The whole point is you can be excellent. You really have to desire to be excellent and just set your mind that I'm going to be excellent. And so that's what this scripture is talking about. 
Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Think about these things. He says, finally, I'm going to leave you with this. Finally is like, like I'm going to uh, capture everything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recap everything and put it all in one important note that I want you to get. If you didn't listen to anything else I said, listen to this. Finally, think about these things. And so think about excellence. Think about excellence. And then go out and be excellent. All right. I love y'all. Have a great day.